Jacobs, Ian from RTL here, and welcome to another classic album review, where we just look at classic albums from anywhere from the 1950s up to the... Well, I consider classics, you know, I'll go as far as probably 1999 at the moment. There may be a what the odd 2000 that gets thrown in, but mostly it's from the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And today we're looking at an album that is probably one, not, I won't say if it's my favourite because I haven't ranked this guy yet and it's someone that I will be doing and that's Billy Joel. And today we're going to look at his Street Life Serenade album. Now, Billy's full name is William Martin Joel, born in 1949. Great singer and a piano player and songwriter and his nickname is the piano man after that signature tune very successful solo artist since the 70s 12 rock and pop albums from 71 to 93 then he's done an album of classical um, com compositions he's one of the best selling artists of all time his greatest hits is one of the best, volume one is probably one of the greatest compilation sellers ever. Now the one we're concentrating on is this one, Street Life Serenade, which was his third album, which came out on the 11th of October 1974. So Billy Joel on here well, does the singing, plays the piano, the keyboards and the Moog synthesizer and arrangements. We've got Will Smitty Smith on organ, Richard Bennett on guitars, Mike Deasy guitars, Don Evans on guitars, Al Haldsberg guitars, Art Munson guitars, and Raj Ruffel on guitars. Michael Stewart does guitars and arrangements. Tom Whitehorse does banjo and pedal steel. Walton Felder on the bass, as along with Amroy Gordia Jr. And Mr. Larry Ketchnell from Bread. He got around in them days, didn't he? Rod Tut does the drums and Joe Clayton does congos and percussion. So the first track on this fantastic album is one of my favourite tracks by Billy Joel and it's Street Life Serenader. What a great track to start the album with. The piano work on this is lovely, gentle, builds up, got a really good... Uh, solo on it and a great bass line absolutely brilliant song love it to bits then we get Los Angelios I think I p probably pronounced that totally wrong and again this is the start this is on the electric piano I love electric piano it's got a really great bass line on it it's a proper mid 70s rocker pop, rock pop song Great track. All of it to bits. Then we get the great Suburban Showdown. This is a little bit country here. We've got a little bit of steel guitar on there. Bit of different for him, but it worked. And it's a very, very pleasant song. Then we get this little instrumental called Root Beer Rag. Awesome. Some really honky tonk sort of plango playing on this. I love this track. Uh, it's, it's just something about it. It's just it's just very jolly, uplifting sort of track. Then we get Roberta, which is a really nice song. Um, great vocal from Billy on this. Absolutely brilliant. Then we get The Entertainer, which of course is a brilliant song. Uh, it's one of my favourite songs. Um, big hit in America for him. Uh, it's, it's just a fantastic song. The Last of the Big Time Spenders, a nice track again. It's the pedal steel the guitar that really adds to this track. I love that sound it makes. It's a good track. Then we get the weekend song, quite rocky this is. I love the guitar in this. It's really strong some great drumming on this then we get souvenir one of these short little tracks great vocal from billy joel then we get another instrumental the mexican connection certainly got that 
Mexican uh, feel to it the congos and the Mexican guitar I love I love this sort of sound you know I've been to Mexico so I sort of got a connection with this sort of sound it's a great way to end this album well this is an album that sold um, a million copies <laughs> in America but it only got to number 35 on the billboard charts so you can uh, you can just about get in the top 20 but as o over the years you know, to sell one million copies of a great album I love this album. It's one of my favourite albums by Billy Joel. I think I like it because it's got a bit of everything on it. You've got some nice ballady songs. You've got some rocker songs. You've got these two instrumentals. You've got the Mexican one, which is good, and you've got this country sort of hillbilly type one. Um, it's just a shame this album didn't come out over here. He did have no success in the UK till 1978. But when you talk to people like Billy Joel over here, this is an album that everyone seems to talk about. And there's a, and there's a reason, because it is a really good album. So, if you've not yet heard this, I mean, obviously you've heard The Entertainer, but go and check out this album, because it's a really good album. And it's that good. I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. So there we go, another really good classic album. Okay, that's all for today. But don't forget that on Friday we are I am launching a contest where you can win a £30 Amazon voucher. All you've got to do is make a video of 30 minutes of music that describes you. Um, there's a little sort of trailer video it's, if you don't know if you want to know what thumbnail to look for it's the one with the cassette on it uh, and in the content in the comment boxes in the description there are the rules and regulations of the uh, competition I'll tell you more about as, as the week goes on and then on obviously at the live stream there will be a bit more about it so that's for the rest of the week. But tomorrow, being the last day of February, it is Ladies' Day on RTO. Every month, at the last Tuesday of every month, we dedicate it to female artists and their contribution to the music business. Tomorrow we have got a modern great and a, a pioneering great. Tomorrow we'll be looking at the albums of a singer songwriter from the southwest pj harvey good good singer and good writer and tomorrow's retro ranking is the one and only barefoot lady singer miss sandy shaw very prominent through the 60s of course come up with some quite a few top 10 hits and number ones so i'll be picking my favorite sandy shaw songs tomorrow so that's all for today have a good day the sun is out it's not too cold either so um spring is certainly on its way have a great day everyone bye for now So, um, spring is certainly on its way. Have a great day, everyone. Bye for now.